Yo, what's up, you two? Uh, didn't get anything today except for a fan pack. I believe it was Cincinnati Reds. Uh, I think all I got was a towel, a uh, calendar, lanyard, and a photo of the mascot and some stickers, I believe is all I got. But uh, yesterday, I didn't feel like making a video. Yesterday, I got um, Annalise, which she's a... Uh, TV personality in Australia. She's also a lingerie designer. Really nice autograph. I thought I was getting something good in the mail because I got a uh, a a letter, you know, certified letter. I guess it's, and it needed a signature for it, but it was just because it was coming from Australia. But uh, also yesterday I got Hall of Famer Don Shula. Don Shula signed the index card for me, included Hall of Fame 97. I have one of these for trade, so if you guys are interested in uh, a Don Shula index card, hit me up. And I'll be uh, glad to try to work something out with you. Uh, if you have any autographed Alabama memorabilia, you know, especially cards, jersey, like game used jerseys, or anything like that, or. Uh, game use cards, I mean anything to do with Alabama, especially the past greats like Joe Namath, Bart Starr, any of those guys, I'm really interested in them, you know, I'm a diehard Alabama fan, it doesn't matter if they're in the Packers or Jets or, or any of their NFL teams, just let me know what you have and I'll try to work up a trade with you or something. Also, you know, I'm looking for some patch cards, guys, I don't have any patch cards in my collection whatsoever, I don't care if it's you know, John Doe or somebody that, that hasn't done anything. I, I just want to add some to my collection just to just to be able to look at them, you know, especially the ones with the uh, the, uh, the lo actual logo or whatever of the uh, mascot or, you know, the team. I just want to, you know, I want to have something different in my collection. But <laughs> anyways, on to what else I have here. I know you guys, I've talked about the jerseys before, but... I have these floorboards that uh, I'd like to do 50-50s with, especially to some of you guys that attend the NBA games. Uh, they're great to have autographed. They also connect together, and uh, they can make up a square footer. They can make up a whole whatever you want to do with them, a table, a wall. But uh, they're really nice. I'd like to get some of these autographed. And if you guys are not familiar with what 50-50 means, it means... Uh, I send you X amount of these, you get, say I send you 10, you get to keep 5 for yourself once you get them autographed, then you send me 5 back that you've done got autographed. It cuts down on a lot of the money, especially for you guys that already have tickets to games and stuff, you don't have to go out and buy stuff to uh, have autographed, you can just get these signed and uh, eliminates that. But Anyways, if you guys are interested in that, I have they like a hundred of these. I'm also willing to trade them off. So, uh, you know, if you have anything that you're willing to trade, hit me up and maybe we can work something out. I have like a hundred of them. I think I have two different colored stain floorboards. Uh, so I have those. I also have the jerseys still. Uh, no one's really hit me up on the jerseys. As you can see, they're full button down jerseys. They're pinstriped, all of them are the same color, nothing on the back, brand new. I washed them, washed every one of them just to uh, get any of the dyes or anything out of them. Because, you know, I bought them from uh, Russell Corporation here in town. I used to work at Russell. I used to make all the Major League Baseball jerseys. And once uh, Russell sold out, the company also bought bike. That's what these jerseys are actually are, the bike jerseys. But they're really, really nice. What I'm willing to do, I was willing to 50-50 uh, these jerseys. I'm still willing to do that, but I'm going to make a better offer for you guys. If you can go to like a Hobby Lobby or any type of uh, craft store, you can buy the sewn-on numbers, like the iron-on sewn-on numbers that you can buy for like a dollar fifty cents a piece. You get the 8 or 10-inch numbers. If you go to any of these games, you get... Uh, two of them autographed by the same person. Uh, one for you, one for me. If you'll send me back the uh, number autographed, I'll send you one of these jerseys.
where you can have yours sewn onto this jersey, your number, and I'll do the same with mine. That way, it'll cut you a lot of cost out because you can probably get a you can get a number for like a buck and a half, and you can mail it for like a buck, you know, or cheaper, maybe eighty eight cents. I don't know, maybe cheaper than that. I mean, it's only an eight inch number, just envelope, you know, envelope big enough to uh, mail it in. But that's a pretty good deal, man. I mean, like I said, they look great for any Hall of Famer, Yankees. Uh, I, I don't give a crap, man. Any any team that you can get and get a guy to sign one of the black. The numbers should be black, though, I'm guessing. It'll look better in the black number signed in a uh, silver Sharpie. Um, I think that would look outstanding. So, If you can do that, like I said, I'll send you one of these jerseys. But I require to get my number before I send the jersey out because uh, I'm the one that's going to lose. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm definitely sending jerseys off. I, like I said, uh, I have a trader rating, pretty good trader rating. I have never, I don't have any negative feedback on any of my trades. I always send what I say I'm going to send. Um, you can check sportscollector.net. You can check any of these other sites. I used to own Sports uh, City USA forum, and you can ask any of the guys that's ever done any trades with me on there. I'm 100% legit. So, uh, I'm kind of new to the YouTube videos and stuff, so kind of skeptical there, but uh, I'm willing to try to, uh, like I said, I'm trying to meet some of you guys, trying to build a connection with you guys, because, uh, you know, I, I've been out of the, the field and the hobby for for about three years, and just now getting back into it pretty hard, and I want to connect with some friends you know i want to make some friends on here and hopefully they can help me out i can help them out and just you know i think uh building a barn with other people in the hobby really helps your uh helps you and helps your collection but anyways guys i hope your mailboxes are full today um i'm still expecting my uh cal ripkin jr books to come in like i said i have one of those for trade uh, the book's called Hot Head, signed by Cal Ripken Jr. Uh, I'm willing to take offers on it, trade offers, not money offers. I, I try not to ever sell my autographs. You know, I try to just build on my collection. But anyways, if you guys are interested in that, hit me up also. Anyways, take care, guys, and God bless.